Did you know that most life in the ocean is invisible to the naked eye? If we take a bucket of seawater and look really closely, there are thousands of microscopic bacteria in each drop. These bacteria live all throughout the ocean and carry out processes that impact life on the planet. When we study bacteria, we can focus on genotype and phenotype. The genotype is the genetic material. We can think of a genotype like a cookbook with the recipes for a bunch of foods. The phenotype is the expression of the genetic material based on the environment, like the dishes made from the cookbook, which depends on the ingredients you have. If you're in Maine making a pie and your friend is in Georgia making one too, you could use the same cookbook. However, because you're in different places, your recipe would change. You might make an apple pie and your friend might make one with peaches. Bacteria are similar. While the genotype, the genetic material, or the cookbook may not change that much, the phenotype, the expression of the genetic material or the food that was made, depends greatly on the environment. Traditionally, scientists grow bacteria in a lab to figure out their phenotype, but this method works on less than 1% of bacteria. This is because it is so hard to replicate natural conditions on Earth in a laboratory. If we want to figure out what bacteria are doing in the environment, we need another approach. My project figures out a bacteria's phenotype without growing them in a lab. We do this by measuring the amount of new proteins made under different conditions. So how does this work? First, you take bacterial cells and put them in different environments. Then, you introduce a fake protein building block, which is something they would normally use to live. To them, it seems normal, so they incorporate it into their proteins. However, what you added has a sneaky side part. It glows. If the bacteria made more proteins, the glow will be brighter. This range in brightness tells us what environments are preferable, like making a pie based on the available ingredients. We can even capture the glowing bacteria to investigate how they live in different environments. This method broadens our understanding of bacterial functions and helps us understand the almost invisible bacterial processes that life depends on.